Greetings, saints, in the name of Yahusha Hamashiach. How are you all doing? I want to thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for those who, the new subscribers, welcome to the Kingdom Seekers channel, where it's all about Elohim's kingdom. It's about seeking the kingdom of Elohim, hallelujah, with ardent zeal, hallelujah, and intent. Our intent is set upon seeking his holy kingdom, his heavenly kingdom. And I'm so excited to be here. I had a really, really hard week between homeschool and work. I was glued to my desk this week. I'm telling you, I had a hard week working all up to 12 in the night. It was really hard. But nonetheless, I give the Father thanks and praise. And I'm glad to be here. It's my first video for this week. And today it's daily declaration number four. And we're going to talk about he that endures till the end. Hallelujah. We can all attest that when we were saved, that day we were saved, whatever that day be, whether it was yesterday for some of you, probably you were watching and then you are a new believer and you were saved a month ago or whether you were saved five years ago or 10 years or 20 years ago or over 20 years ago like myself, you know, we can all attest that this is a journey. We can all testify that it is a journey. It is a walk. The believer's walk is a walk in faith. The believer's walk is a walk where we see our growth, you know, in the Holy Spirit, where we produce, growing in the, producing those fruits of the Spirit, where we grow in truth, where we grow in revelation, where we grow in the knowledge of the Heavenly Father and of His Son, Yahusha HaMashiach, hallelujah. But in that journey, saints, it's a journey of growth and development and truth and life in Mashiach, walking in the newness of life. But in that journey, saints, in that journey, we have to remember one thing. It is he that endures till the end. We have to get on the journey. We have to get into the right way, in, onto the right path. Narrow is the way and small is the gate. We have to get onto that right path and feed there be that find it. But you know what? Once we get onto that path, it's he that endures till the end. We must endure till the end. That's critical and that's crucial. Because we have an enemy who wants to thwart our path. We want an enemy, enemy. We have an enemy who wants to sabotage our walk. Sabotage our walk so that we will not endure till the end. So we will not get that heavenly prize. So we will not get those heavenly treasures. So that your name will be stricken from the book of life. Remember when Yahusha sent to the church in Revelation. Repent and go back to your first love. He said to the church, repent, and I will not blot you out. You will not be blotted out, but you will be clothed in white. So we have an enemy, and that enemy is like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. And I want you to think of a roaring lion. Right now, you see that hungry lion? A physical one. When a lion is hungry, when a lion is in that state, anything in its path, is devour, is kill and hurt. That is our enemy. A roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Devour. He doesn't care. He will devour the non-believers and don't talk about the believers. If he get ones that falls away. So we have to endure till the end. Because there's a characteristic of the enemy that's enough focus and attention is not given to it. In, into understanding this characteristic. And it is the characteristic that Yahushua HaMashiach has given us in the book of Revelations. I believe it's chapter 12, verse 9. Forgive me if I have it wrong. And he said in the book of Revelations, that great serpent, the old serpent, the dragon, the devil, that deceiveth the whole world, deceiveth the whole world. One of his greatest characteristics is deception. He deceiveth the whole world. And there, I can I can start going through so, a long list of ways that the world is deceived. And that the world has been, has been grafted into paganism. Because paganism and the worship of false gods and idols. If you've read the Torah. If you've read... Um, Leviticus and, and Deuteronomy and Exodus and Numbers. If you've read the Torah, right? The books of Moses, you've read the Torah. You will discover that amongst the commandments, amongst the, the, the statutes of Yahuwah, it is one that he, he greatly abhors. Now, we shouldn't break any, but I'm saying it is one that he definitely abhors. 
and the world is wrapped. Paganism has been, you know, how should I say, recreated, wrapped in, in, in paganism without realizing it, deceived the whole world. The very days of the week we call on are pagan gods, deceived the whole world. The rise of a wicked and perverse nation deceive the whole world when you have someone who's saying, I'm happy being me, you know, this is me and I'm proud to be me. And they're proud to be me in their wickedness and perverseness that you're not allowed to talk about on YouTube. But you know what I mean. They are themselves deceived. When you look at Hollywood and the distractions of the world, deception, the movies, the music, and I'm not saying that you can't enjoy music or you can't enjoy your music should be holy music. It should be music that glorifies Yahuwah. Stop all the other music. I did it. The music that glorifies Yahuwah. I'm not saying you can't watch a film and entertain yourself. You just choose how you entertain yourself and what you entertain yourself with. But what I'm talking about is the appetite. What the enemy has done with Hollywood and the entertainment industry and, and, and what he has done, what we have to be wary of is that appetite. The appetite for the entertainment. The appetite for the films and the movie and the movie buffs. The appetite for the, 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 the rap music and all sorts of music. The appetite. Because with that appetite, with the growth and increase of that appetite, then it's so will your appetite and intent desire for serving the Heavenly Father decrease. Deceive the whole world. Right? The false doctrines. Let us not even go into them now. Deceive the whole world. We have an enemy who is busy, who is busy saints, and he's busy to get people on the broad path, to keep people on the broad path. He's busy to deceive the whole world. The love of many works called because of lawlessness that will increase, Yahusha tells us. And we are in this time where that lawlessness is increasing terribly. Deceive the whole world. Get the whole world to hate Yahusha. And hate those for his name's sake, all those who follow him. And this is what's going to come next to a higher degree. That hatred. Deceive of the whole world. We have an enemy that is out to get the saints. And that is out to get even non-believers. You know, is it Colossians that tells us or Second Corinthians that tells us. If our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost because... The Elohim of this world has blinded the eyes of them that receive not. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ should shine unto them. He has blinded the eyes. So like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour the non-believer. And he's coming for the believers. And that is why we have to endure till the end. Endure till the end. Even the burdens of this world that come our way. Why the scripture tells us. Cast your cares unto me, for I care for you. Give him your burden. Because the enemy can use that burden to draw you away from the Heavenly Father. Shut your prayers. Shut your prayer. Put a spirit of heaviness upon you. Cast your care unto him. He that endures till the end. You know, James chapter 1 verse 12 says, Blessed is the man that endures till the end, that endures temptation. He will receive the crown of life. So no matter what temptation comes your way, because temptation will come, we have a tempter. So temptation will come. What did Yahusha say to the disciples when he was in the garden of Gethsemane? Gethsemane, Gethsemane. He said, Pray. Lest you fall into temptation. Saints, have you proven this? I have proven it. When temptation cometh, especially in the last three years since I've, I've gotten a lot more serious in my walk, in my pursuit of the kingdom. And I have, I have proven it when that temptation comes. And, and the important thing to know is, it, it comes, there are, there, there's an incident that happened in my life recently. And I didn't go looking for the temptation. The temptation came through. It just came. And I went and prayed immediately. And it was gone. The individual, the enemy was using to come into our, our path. And to bring trouble for our family. 
the father just took him away. It just took him away, right? So some, the temptation is important to understand when the temptation comes, whether you're tempted with, by food, addictions, no matter what the temptation be, the temptation will come because we have an enemy. Satan has planned to sift you like wheat and he uses people. He uses people. He be at work and this fellow worker comes to steal your peace from you and she's antagonizing you. I had a situation where she was deliberately antagonizing me, deliberate and trying to even embarrass me. Right? Deliberately, for no cause at all. It just She just hates me. But you know what? Pray. And the Heavenly Father took care of it. Pray lest you fall into temptation. He that endures temptation will receive a crown of life. So I want to encourage you today for daily declaration number four to remember that it is he that endures till the end, right? Think it not strange concerning the fiery trial that shall try you as if something strange has happened to you, right? This is what is written, I believe, in Second Peter. So we, the saints of Elohim, we will have the tri tribulation, we will have the afflictions, and the tempter tempts all. But think it not strange concerning the fiery trial that shall trouble you, as if something strange has happened to you. But let patience have her perfect work. He that endures till the end. So I want to admonish you today, saints, no matter what you're going through, no matter your tribulation right now, the Heavenly Father knows your tribulation. Take it to Him in prayer. No matter your affliction right now, he sees your affliction. Take it to him in prayer. He said unto the children of Yasharel that I saw your burden in Egypt and I broke the yoke from off your neck. I broke the yoke from off your neck. And today the heavenly father, he can break that yoke from off your neck. He see if your burden that you're going through. He see if your affliction that you're going through. And no matter who the enemy sends your path. Because remember, temptation takes many forms. It takes many forms. And no matter who the enemy sends your path to try to come and bring a stumbling block onto your path, the Heavenly Father said in the scriptures, he has provided an escape for that temptation. He has provided an escape. So I want to admonish you today to endure till the end. Endure till the end. Keep your eyes on the prize. Keep your eyes on the kingdom of Elohim and his righteousness. Seek first the kingdom of Elohim and his righteousness. And know that it is he that endures till the end shall receive the crown of life. There is nothing, there is nothing, there is nothing that can come your way that the heavenly father has not provided a way out of that temptation for you. Yahusha said unto the, the, the disciples, pray, lest you fall into temptation. Pray. You tempted, you have an appetite. You, you realize your appetite for the things of the world has increased. Pray about it. Fast when you have to fast. You're going through an affliction right now, and at times you feel so overburdened and overwhelmed. Cast it onto him. Get on your knees and put it in his hands. For he that heareth prayer unto him shall all flesh come. He will hear your prayer. You have someone who has come your path and trying to tempt you into the occult. Get away from them and put, put that temptation into prayer and give it to the Heavenly Father and ask him to deliver you from, a, to separate you from whoever it is that is trying to put a stumbling block on your ways to separate you from them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He that endures to the end. So for daily declaration number four, I want to encourage you today to persevere in your faith. The just shall live by faith. You persevere in your faith in the most high, in Elohim who created the heavens and the earth, the Shamaim and the Ahet in Hebrew, hallelujah, to keep your eyes on him, to walk in the spirit so that you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. What is walking in the spirit? To walk in the spirit, we have to allow ourselves to be led by the Ruach HaKadosh. We have to allow our air, our inner air, to be 
open and hearken to the voice of our shepherd. My sheep know my voice so that you can walk in the spirit. So that when he says unto you, stop, go and pray. You could go and pray. And when he says unto you, switch that channel. You switch that channel. When he says unto you, shut this off. You shut this off. When he says unto you, give praise, give thanks, give praise and give thanks. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Walk in the spirit that you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh because the enemy is like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour to sabotage your walk, to sabotage my walk. To thwart our work, to thwart our prosperity in the spirit. I wish that your soul prospers to, to thwart our prosperity in the spirit. Hallelujah. Let us hold fast to Yahuwah. Let us hold fast to the Heavenly Father. Let us keep our prize on the kingdom of Elohim and his righteousness. And let us endure till the end. I want to close with this scripture. And it is a scripture. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, is it second Peter? Second Peter, and it says, I think it's 20. For if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world, through the knowledge of Adonai and the Savior Yahusha HaMashiach, they are again entangled therein and overcome, the latter end is worse with them than the beginning. For it had bet been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than after they have known it, to turn back from the holy commandment delivered unto them. But it is happened unto them according to the true proverb. The dog is turned to his own vomit again. And the soul that was washed into her wallowing in the mire. Second Peter chapter 2 verse 20 to 22. Let that proverb not be said about any of us. We will not turn again to our own vomit. Let that proverb not be said of any of us. The scripture says, for if they have escaped the pollutions of the world, we have to see these saints. We live in a fallen world. And this is something I keep saying to everyone I speak with. We live in a fallen world, right? We live in a fallen world. But yet, once we've been grafted in, we are now part of the kingdom of Elohim. And we have escaped the pollution of that fallen world, right? We are and. We have escaped it through the knowledge of Adonai and the Savior, Yahusha HaMashiach. So right now we've come to know his son. We have received that gift of everlasting life. Let us not become entangled again in the pollution of the world. Because if we become entangled in, again in the pollution of the world and we fall back, the scripture says our latter end is worse than the beginning. It is worse than the beginning. And that is why we have to understand the enemy will send who he, who he has to send because he wants to thwart that so that we will fall back. Even in our dreams, I get the attack in my dreams. I remember recently, uh, I shared this with a fellow sister in the faith, you know. Even witchcraft, I'm fighting in my dreams where some witches were trying to kill me. And I saw them on top of a mountain casting spells on Christians. Standing on a mountain casting spells on Christians. Right? And the Heavenly Father gave me victory in my dreams. So even in your dreams, when you go to sleep at night, you pray and ask to be covered. Because we are soldiers of Mashiach. But the battle is not ours. The battle is the Heavenly Father. And that is why you have to cast all things unto him. Bring everything into subjection to Yahusha HaMashiach. And trust in the Heavenly Father. Put him first. Hallelujah. So daily declarations are not meant to be long videos. So I will end here. And I will end by saying this. He that endures till the end shall be saved. He that endures till the end shall be saved. And I want to admonish you today for daily declaration number four. You will endure till the end. Turn not back to the pollution of the world. Turn not back to the appetites of the world. Pray. That you fall not into temptation. The temptation comes which is normal. It comes to different people. Male and female. The temptation comes which is normal. But do you fall into it? Pray that you fall not into temptation. Prayer is the answer. To escape from that temptation. Fast if you have to fast. Hallelujah. 
Read your scriptures. Spend time in prayer. Spend time in the presence of the Almighty Father. Fall on your knees and give Him worship and adoration. And grow in the knowledge of the Father and in the knowledge of His Son, Yahusha HaMashiach, and endure till the end. Be blessed, saints. And if you haven't subscribed, do subscribe. And finally, the video part three on the, the, the Renewed Covenant series, Understanding the New Covenant series, I finally got that done. It's three weeks I've been working on it, juggling it with so many other things. And last night, I just decided, you know what? I'm going to spend time in intercessory prayer. And after that, I'm going to finish this, 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 this um my slide. So that's done. So hopefully, I will get that recorded today or by Sunday. And we'll have that uploaded next week. I'm so excited to deliver it to you. Be blessed. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe so you can get more daily declarations coming into your inbox. All the love with the love of Mashiach. Bye for now.